uh, God had to keep changing our heart before we could change our shirt, right? Before we started doing different things. You never heard that before? I think if I'm honest, I have my own bouts with, with that area too because mm-hmm. I think there are lots of things that I'd like to say in my music. The same way you are in that comment section, like you should be that. God is up there like... Bro, I have a scroll of things that you should not be doing. <laughs> not a scroll. Uh, so uh, I want to I want to switch gears because uh, we we had talked about it a little bit uh, this morning via text about um, a hot topic that's yeah. going on right now, uh, which is um, Christians cussing, right? <laughs> Essentially, is Christians cussing, and so um, if you guys if you guys don't know um, what Oh, uh, is that what you want to talk about? Oh, yeah, I can't do that. Yeah. We, <laughs> uh, although he ain't going too far because I'm... I'm <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, uh, I... Uh, so anyways, so for those of you guys who do not know, okay, uh, if you guys haven't really kept up with uh, what's going on, Christian culture, whatever the case may be, um, so uh, Tim Ross, uh, who is a podcaster... Um, he was on a, another pod. Now he's had some what he would quote as colorful language, right? Which just means cussing uh, on his pod before. And um, you know, I have my own thoughts. And we're going to kind of like work this out together a little bit. Uh, but where it has resurfaced even more is he was on a different podcast uh, of someone who I would say is younger in the faith and still processing uh, what. Um, not his relationship with Christ, because I I heard him on the basement, and I'm like, oh, okay, no, this this man, this man at least has a good foundation of understanding it. Uh, but like all of us, uh, God had to keep changing our heart before we could change our shirt, right? Before we started doing different things. You never heard that before. Uh, so, uh, no, uh, shout out to some Christian praise group of some sort that I heard because it, it had a hey, little bit. Shout like out that. that praise group because I'm using it. I can't, I can't, I can't remember. Uh, I want to say it was like casting crowns to be honest or something like that. So, but anyways, um, so essentially, uh, he was on the podcast and used even more uh, colorful words, as he would say, um, and then it kind of threw this up, not uproar, but. Um, Dayton, for those of you guys who don't know, in the CHH world, uh, Dayton is a uh, Christian hip hop artist, very out um, outgoing in his faith, and very outgoing in not necessarily calling people out, but calling things out. Uh, you know, at the same time. Yeah. So, uh, so he he got on uh his TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, whatever. Yeah. Went in and talked about how you know Christians shouldn't cuss this that and the other. Uh, shout out Ruslan and uh, Ray Rock who they had their own conversation uh, as well about it. And so I, I wanted to kind of talk about it because um, I feel like it kind of goes with what we were talking about earlier, where uh, the censorship that an artist feels like. And so I said not just an artist but a Christian tends to feel like. And I think. That's kind of what that was where, um, rather it's a podcast form or whatever, um, I feel like uh, people are wanting to censor Tim or anybody who is of the faith to be like, hey, you can't talk like that. That's wrong for you, right? And so Dayton was kind of pointing out, you know, hey, as Christians, we shouldn't be cussing. Like, that's just not godly of us and, and this, that, and the other. And then you got some Christian camp who are like, a, like it's not necessarily that I'm trying to do it on the pulpit. Like I'm never gonna do it in a pulpit or on a mic when you know I'm in front of people. But you tuned in to my show, hearing what I wanted to say and what I thought. You know what I mean? That that'd be like me rolling up in your house and then you speak or do some kind of way or whatever and be like, "Hey, bro, hey, I can't have you doing that." Like you would feel some kind of way. You like you in my house? Like how you ain't gonna tell me? That I can't walk around in my drawers. This is my house. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so uh, that I, I wanted to kind of get your perspective. And I, you know, uh, I, I showed you some videos to kind of give you some context too. So I, uh, I kind of tell you where, where I land on that. But what, where do you land with not just Christians cussing, but using language that would be more uh, abrasive um, that they would not normally use in front of their stage yeah to be honest bro i don't really i i can't really disagree with what i was hearing dayton say Mm -hmm. i think 
honestly, what he was saying was very, <laughs> for lack of a better word, beautiful. Yeah. Because I feel like the point of it was to encourage, encourage you, whether you are on one side of that spectrum or not. Yeah. You know, I don't think he was trying to condemn anyone. Right. And I think once again, in a hypersensitive culture, directness or direct speaking can almost automatically be associated with trying to be oppressive or yeah. trying to be controlling. Um, but my thoughts specifically are, once again, I can't really say I disagree with him. I think if I'm honest, I have my own bouts with, with that area too, because mm -hmm. I think there are lots of things that I'd like to say in my music that, mm sometimes could be considered explicit like yeah. not even like it's not that i want to drop f-bombs or anything right 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 but like something that's like super cultural like the n-word yeah like, i've literally like yeah. i've literally talked about how there are definitely times in my writing yeah. where what i'm saying <laughs> i want to say that <laughs> yeah but it isn't because i want shock value it's like no it it honestly is flowing out of what i'm in my writing and in, in me sharing a thought or in me right, right. talking about something I'm wrestling with it. That's legit how I felt. That's, that was my authentic truth yeah, right, in that right. moment. Yeah. But once again, I think it goes back to the, your why, like why, mm. why do you really want to say it? But even bigger than that, like, well, why are you making music? Why are you, why are you doing this podcast? Yeah. And I think, there's nothing wrong with whatever your answer is, but yeah. I do think you have to be willing to acknowledge what comes with that. So, for example, me making my music and wanting to reach other people, that's dope. That's yeah. honorable, right? But right. you have to acknowledge that there are areas where you have to be intentional about that other person that you say you're doing it for. Yeah, Me saying, saying the N-word in my song could be freeing to one brother in a sense of like man yeah that's all yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I relate i felt that yeah yeah while somebody else who doesn't know me who doesn't know my background who doesn't know where it's really coming from is right. like they would receive it and be like yo hold on one this is even though we mature and we change there is still tact there is still this idea that hey you are trying to reach a group of people yep um, and that isn't language that that group of people tends to rock with. And that is bigger than, like you said, suburban, suburban culture. That is, that is a black family that is trying to change the norm around mm -hmm. what most of their culture usually is saying. Yeah. Um, and I think it, as, as much as we want things to be just simple, I don't think it's simple in the sense, I, I think it's simple in the sense of like, God does have an opinion on it. I mean, Dayton mm -hmm. said it like, let no corrupt, obscure speech come out of your mouth. Only um, speech that's edifying to build up one another as yeah. the occasion sees fit. And I think that wasn't Dayton's opinion. That was right, right. God's, that was God's thoughts on that. Right. And a lot of times we get upset with the messenger when honestly, you're more upset with the original author. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're yeah. upset that Dayton is saying it, but really you're upset because God is telling you how he feels about the way you talk. Yeah. And no, we, we can wrestle with with Dayton all day, yeah. but there's no, there's no debate with God. Yeah. Like you can refute all you want, but right, his right. truth is his truth. And it's, I think also too, it's like connecting who his character is through those things like god is not saying he doesn't want you to speak like this because he's a hater yep god is holy yeah and god wants you to want to be holy rather yep. than it's like oh I'm, I'm gonna force you to be holy it's like no god is set apart and he wants you to want to be set apart but yep. but but speaking like that doesn't help you right right i think there were there's some other cool points about how dayton did bring up you know home and culture I know for me, there have been times where I have definitely said the N word while I'm talking to one of my close friends. Right. And in that, right, there's still a wrestle with, okay, well, even in that, how does God feel about that? Yeah. Like, 
I know me and you are cool. Right, I right, know right. Uh, um, that you understand that this is honestly me being very comfortable with you. Yep. But I think God calls us to an extra layer of discipline yep. and self-control. Yeah. And I think in reality, it's about um, ultimately loving one another. Like, yeah. do I love integrity enough to go the extra mile and be like you know what i could say it this way but i'm gonna i'm gonna work right to to be a little bit more edifying yeah and one i think it, it can it, it can bleed into your brother being encouraged your brother being can being convicted in his own because i i know it's happened to me where like i'm watching somebody really close to me trying really hard to think about something a different way or go about something in a different way. And it just automatically makes you be like, dang, I probably need to, mm. I probably need to tighten up a little bit more too. Yeah. And yeah. I think, you know, ultimately when you said uh, like, you know, someone being in your house or being on your podcast, I think it's the ego and the selfishness thing because there's nowhere in the Bible where it says in your household, yeah, no one now granted there's boundaries. Yes. <laughs> right. Right. But, there's never I don't see it in the Bible anywhere where this principle around your household is that no one can say anything to mm, you. That's good. No one can constructively criticize you. Yep. Right. If you come into my house and you see that the way I'm talking to Leanne is abrasive, mm -hmm. I would actually point and fight the other way and say, because we are a body, right, right. God does call you out of love yeah to do it with tact but to pull me aside and say Zay I feel like you could bro you gotta work on that you kinda yep. are a little harsh yeah. with the way hold you accountable you know what I'm yeah, saying yeah for sure and I think I I would say you get way more opportunity to grow deeper in your character yep you get to get closer right because mm -hmm. we can have fun while I'm on stage doing music but I would say who I know you to be, your character, how I respect you, mm -hmm. how I um, continue to grow in my bond with you. We grow in those harder conversations. We grow in those honest, raw places where you're like, you know, Zay, whoop de whoop, Zay, this is, this might not be the best thing. Or instead of just being right or wrong, have you ever thought of? Have you ever thought about this? Right. Yeah. This yeah. Way? Yeah. And Can I, I think, submit it to you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I yeah. think. I think in any way, shape, or form that you can do that, you are called to do that yeah. in every relationship. You have to build yeah. trust and build, um, you know, build relationship to be able to do those things. So you're saying I can't just yell at you in your comment section and be like, you shouldn't be saying that. I got no I relationship with you. Right and wrong, though. Like I okay. think, I think there's a way to do it. Nope. I right. think for the person right. who wants to speak into those places, I think it's still a level of maturity. You have to legit be willing to. We don't like to think. Like we like to just <laughs> say stuff. <laughs> That's true. But I think it's it's a sign of maturity, yeah. and it is a sign that you actually do care more. Yeah. If you're saying, I want to tell this person that I don't think that they should do this. Right. 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 But instead of typing it in a comment section, maybe you pray for them. Mm, let's start there. Maybe you let's actually pray prayer. that God, right? Because God is way more, way more powerful than any other comment that you could ever type. Yeah. God ultimately is their father and their creator. And so if you really feel like the way that they're living is detrimental to themselves yeah well god tells us in all things to yeah. pray yeah pray for that person because one i mean i'm talking about even down to the idea of like god i i would love if it's possible for you to allow me to build a relationship with this person right to be able to grow with them but i also think we have to be careful of not having the savior complex because yeah. i do think a lot of yeah. times people are wanting to be yep. heroes wanting to be the main character like yeah. i'm gonna be the one that's gonna make i don't know i'm gonna just use john keith like i'm, I'm gonna be the one that's gonna make john <laughs> keith say this or or stop saying this when yeah. in reality it's like you think in reality you yeah. have that much authority and power 
to be trying to reach this dude That's good. who does not know you right, more right. than a real brother that goes to a church that he's at yeah. or someone who's actually in his circle. Yeah. God can use anything. So rather than being worried about you being used, yeah. just ask that he would use someone or something to get to that person right. and that ultimately God will be gracious towards them because the same way you are in that comment section, like you shouldn't be doing it. God is up there like, Bro, I have a scroll of things that you should not be doing. <laughs> not a scroll. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? You are sitting here worried about what this man is saying, but like in your heart, you're mean. Ooh. Like, talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. bro, you're worried about what he's saying. At least he's saying it so someone can actually pray for him. Mm. You're looking all clean. And mm. that's the problem, too, a lot of times. Like, as Christians, we want to look squeaky clean. Yeah. But it's like, but. We know you're dirty. Yep. Like, you know you're dirty. Yeah. And ultimately, the father knows you're dirty. So why are you trying to look, why are you trying to look something that you're not? Right. Let, let's not, not, let's not be overly focused on that outward appearance, that sounding good, sounding correct or whatever, and not tend with the filth that is in our heart, which you may have a certain area on lock in, in your heart where someone else may not. However, you also have areas that you don't have surrendered to the Lord that that same person may have for that. You and know? it's only by God's mercy that you have whatever on lock. On right. Because you're only one choice away from being right Bro, back. I say that all the time. I literally, I always tell people, I said, listen, I, the reason why I'm never surprised when somebody decides to off somebody or just do anything is because I'm sorry, I wasn't ready. I wasn't expecting <laughs> you to go to that. Bro. Yeah, I'm not surprised somebody <laughs> off somebody. Like well, I mean, I feel you, but but, but it's true. But yeah. but yeah, but I but I always go to that extreme is that literally we are always one decision away from whatever. Now, and when I say that, that one decision doesn't literally mean I'm gonna go from like I'm mad, bang, bang. Like it, it it's not that, but yeah. it is the one decision of being angry, that one decision of holding that anger, that one decision of every time I see that person's name, I, I get angry. Mm -hmm. Like all of those one decisions add up to that by the time I finally get face to face with you and I want to confront you physically, the one choice that I made about being angry, that's what led me up to that point, mm -hmm. right? And that's that's the same thing with lust, right? By the, by the time, because uh, I'm, I'm open with, with my testimony. So by the, by the time that I committed any adultery, I had already did the one choice of allowing communication to be in such a way that it not have been mm -hmm. right, and then and then obviously then it spirals off from there. So, but the thing is, so back on the the uh, the the topic of um, with uh, with with Christians cussing, right? Uh, I think it's a lot less about the cussing itself. Uh, it for me personally. Um, but to where your heart is now, kind of like, uh, the, the, um, so Ruslan and, and, and Ray Rock was talking about it and, you know, Ray, Ray brought up a good point. He's like, you know, Hey, um, I would rather take the person who might be saying like, you know, Hey, good, you know, homie, like that was dope. Right. Um, uh, versus somebody being condescending with their, uh, clean words, right. With their nice words. It's like, well, now wait a minute, like Ooh, the we person don't talk about that enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. The 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 person who's trying to uh you know um come in underneath you know the radar so I can jab at you, right? I'm basically so I have a pocket knife you know in my hand hitting you in the gut when I go to hug you versus just coming at you you know with something like so so like but with the with the wording you know somebody cousin saying something abrasive or whatever the case may be um but in a positive way i'm not saying that's right like i don't i feel like th this is where i land i guess it's probably the best way i can i can we can land this plane is that i feel that when it comes to language in and of itself mostly because that was one of my biggest struggles right like any anybody who knew me bc uh before christ um is i could not get a sentence out without cussing at least three or four times and and that sentence could have that sentence probably could have just been jesus wept but i'm like yeah that I'm a, like, I, like i could have I yeah. done everything in between jesus wept right so yeah. but that's but that's just that's who i was and so for me 
I I don't even like to allow my brain to think the word as much as possible. Now, yeah, I'll hear it a movie or whatever the case may be, um, but like I can't like stub my toe and say it in my head because I know if I keep saying it in my head, it will eventually come out. Like it's going to come out to my tongue, right? Um, so for for me, I, I'm less concerned about that more than I am a person's heart. But I also feel like, kind of like what we were talking, what we've been ta- alluding to is, you do have to be able to kill your pride to be like, is this the, is this the hill that I want to die on? Do I want to die on the hill of I have the liberty to say, blank blank blank, whatever it is, right? Or can I understand that yes, someone for instance like Tim Ross or uh, like your pastor, like like if your pastor was cussing at any point, right? Either e- even if it was just to make a point, right? Somebody would go, oh, he's a pastor. He really should not be doing that. Well, here's the thing. Jesus calls us all to that same level, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. like when, when, like when, when he talks about that, just even the thought can commit adultery. Like it's, it's not even the action. It's the heart. It's the mindset, right? Oh. So since we are already considered at that level, many people, many Christians go, well, I mean, yeah, I deal with it too, but I'm not on the microphone. You know, I deal with it too, but I'm not doing the podcast or I'm, you know, like you said, like you have your own little skeletons. It's like, well, yeah, but you're supposed to deal with your skeletons the exact same way. You should still live your life above reproach as much as you possibly can, right? Yes, there is grace in knowing that you're going to miss the mark. We're going to miss the mark. That does not mean that yeah, but you know, I was just with my homies. So I just, I felt like, you know, I felt like it was okay that I said this while I was, you know, gaming and, you know, going off or whatever. Like, I'm yeah. just with my boys. It's like, well, yeah, but you're called to a different standard. Yeah. The the more responsibilities that you have, the more God calls you to leadership, the less, the less freedoms you have. What did Uncle Ben say? What did Uncle Ben say? With more power comes more responsibility. And that's the thing, like most people equate power to being on stage, right? Being in front of a hot mic. And it's like, no, no, no. When somebody is in your life, you have power and authority right now. Influence, man. Absolutely. Especially if you're an influencer of any kind. But you're always influencing someone. You don't know who's watching you, right? We as as husbands and and fathers, we don't know what our kids are picking up or or not picking up. Mm -hmm. But we do know if we keep showing them that this way of talking is okay, this way of thinking is okay, this way of acting is okay, we can tell them, hey, it's really not okay, but they've already picked it up, right? More is caught than taught. Mm, right? It's been barring up, bro. <laughs> uh, it, you know, it's, it's definitely a thing. Uh, Austin said this conversation needed to be had. Yeah, bro. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean... I, I thank God because there is mercy and there is grace. Amen. Amen. Because we'd be lying if we if we allow this conversation to bleed into something that's like, oh yeah, you just just not supposed to do it, so just don't do it. I think there's <laughs> a reality that we we need to praise God for his mercy and his grace because I do think God calls us to these places. Yeah. But I also think we need to remember that God does like to remind us. Amen. Like reminding comes from the fact that someone keeps forgetting. Whew. There will be no need for a reminder <laughs> be no need. if we always remember. Ooh. And I think we don't look at it enough in this place of like, thank you, God, because even when the Holy Spirit comes in and he does rearranging and he's moving things and he's showing new light to things, yeah. it's it's way more gentle than we are with ourselves. It's way more gentle than we are with other people. Where Absolutely. it's like, at least for me. No, <laughs> this, I, I agree. The Holy Spirit be just has like, revealed stuff to me, and it's not. Yeah. No, why are you over there doing that? <laughs> it's like I almost. I, it's almost like this empathy. This I understand yeah. where it's coming from. Yeah. But also, let me show you what's better. Yeah. I understand that the way you talk with your homies is not coming from this place of like you just you just want to just curse. Yeah, that's good. But let me show you that you're actually you're going to communicate better if you take some of that out. Yeah. You're going to be more understood. In fact, you're going to realize 
that didn't add as much to the conversation as you <laughs> thought it as at at the time you thought it was. You Bro. thought it was adding all this flair. Yeah. When really, it just sounds like you're adding unnecessary verbiage. Yeah. Like, you, you know, just, you could take it out and get the same message across. Same message across. And like I said, you know, ultimately it's about loving loving Jesus yeah and loving your brothers there are definitely people who are going to be like so are you saying that I'm not loving my brother and or sister because I'm cursing you might be mad at me but I guess I would say yeah in a sense because in a way uh, most people when they're speaking like that they're thinking of themselves like mm -hmm. you're not thinking like I actually do think, and I could be wrong, mm -hmm. but I do think if you went into most conversations when you're communicating, like mm -hmm. very intentionally about like, how can I make sure integrity gets what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, do, I actually think like just a lot of that language would naturally get pushed further in the back of your mind mm -hmm. because the, the first thing that you're thinking of is not going to be, saying. let me drop the F-bomb. So yeah, <laughs> so he gets the point of this story. And I think, you know, yeah. once again... I just I just think ultimately it really goes down to trusting God. Like yeah. all these different topics, all these conversations, it, it really goes down to well, do you trust God? Right, like, right. Do you trust God to reveal to you yeah. what is the better side? Yeah. Do you trust God? Like so for the person who is in that spot, I'll put myself there because I know I still have my own areas. Yeah, it's yeah. like, do I trust God enough to allow him to show me something new? Yeah. But also on the other side of maybe somebody is a bit more tighter in that area and they are, they, they feel like in a way they've arrived. Yeah. One, I'd say, well, do you trust God enough to, to reach that, that same person? Like, yeah. do you trust God enough to allow that person to go through the journey yeah. of revelation, yeah. grow, go through the, the process of repentance? Because a lot of us, a lot of times we go into it. Yes, God will use other human beings. Yep. But a lot of us, once again, we go into those things a lot of time with the superhero complex. With yeah. the, I'm going to be the one that's going to help them change. When, <laughs> no, scripture says God is the only one. Like you can plant seeds and yep. you should. Yep. But God is going to be the only one that provides the growth. Well, I think that's it right, right there in the planting seed is that. Um, if you're going to say something, rather to the comment section, right? We talked, you kind of talked about all of it right now. Um, even if you do, just, just drop it off. Just, I'm here. I'm going to put just it right here. It yep. That's it. You know, Hey, just let you know. Okay. You know, it'd be like walking by somebody and be like, Hey man, I like your shoes. And then just, just keep on moving. Right. You know, like I, I would even be okay with that. Like, even if you don't have context of that person, even if you don't know why they said that's fine, but just leave it alone. And like you said, which is most people don't do is go ahead and pray. So if you feel like you want to be able to share whatever it is with somebody, uh, share it in a very polite, loving way, right? That lines up with scripture. Don't come off using scripture, right? Because if the person that you're talking to ought to know scripture, they would be able to receive that on their own. Um, or by just your message, maybe if they're in their word, that the Holy Spirit will bring up that scripture that pass in their, you know, in their head or maybe some kind of context or whatever. But again, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like when you're like taking care of the person who's on the street corner asking for money. It's not really my job to be super worried. I'm not saying not to use the sermon, but it's not my job to be super worried about what they're going to do with this five dollars. The Holy Spirit told me to drop this off. Be blessed, man. Mm -hmm. And just be moving, right? You said something earlier about the curious, like better to be curious than offended. And yeah. I think one thing I feel like we don't utilize enough is questions. Like, yeah. If I think, I think even what you're saying about like a comment, I think it would, I, I would love to see how many times a person will have that introspect, that introspective conversation with themselves based on a question that's asked to them like uh, hey have you ever have you ever thought about like the way you talk on your uh on your podcast like i know i know that you you know you say you use colorful language have you ever have you ever thought about the way other people receive that or yeah. you know what are your thoughts like 
do you genuinely feel like there's like nothing wrong with that? And like legit be okay with whatever their response is because a lot of times people, a lot of people think that they're one way and I, I'm starting to really believe that everybody's a bit of everything in the sense yeah. of that, yeah. you know, oh, I'm an inward processor. It's like All right. you're an inward processor because that's what you've gotten used to yeah. and maybe yeah. you do lean a bit more on that side, but you do have just as much of a capacity to outwardly process yeah. if you you're given the proper context to do it. So for example, a question, like when you're typing a response, you are outward processing. Yep. Like you are thinking about it as you respond. Yep. And sometimes God does a lot of work yep. when you're verbally or outwardly communicating. Like you're getting ready to say, I mean, I don't really have a problem with it. But as you're saying it, you're like, yep. Mm. Hey, that's a, hey, hey, bro. That's why I always, t <laughs> this is, I, so I tell this to anybody, okay? I tell this, this is my opinion, right? Mm -hmm. Only because it's helped me a thousand times, okay? If not more. If I'm about to have a for real conversation with somebody, I actually go into my notes app and I literally start typing how I want to talk. And because as I start talking, I'm like, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and delete this. This I probably shouldn't go at it at that angle. You know what I mean? You no, know I do. Like, I, I really, I, I think anybody should probably process outwardly in that aspect yeah. before they respond with anything because your heart might be in the right place but your heart is also passionately wound up about whatever you're about to bring up right like i'm not gonna bring something up to you if i don't really care about it i'm not i'm not i cannot tell you how many times i started texting leanne and i was like ah <laughs> dang i'm gonna I'm wait i'm gonna wait or like literally she'll I know my wife will tell you this. Like if like especially over like the past couple of months. Yeah. Like I'll be talking to her and I want to ask her a question. Yeah. Even like with questions, I'm like, Well, have you ever uh, never mind, never mind. She's like, Well what? What? And I'm like, No, it's not because I don't want to ask it. Yeah. I don't feel like I've I have the right verbiage. I don't think right, I'm right. able to yes. really yes. communicate what I'm really trying to say. Yep. So I I really would rather wait. Yep, I feel that. You know. I, uh, yeah, I do that. I do that with my wife. Uh, there's, there's plenty of times. Even when I'm, even when I'm coaching with my gymnast and stuff, there'll be plenty of times where I'll be talking and then all of a sudden I just stop talking. <laughs> That's because I'm, I'm having a full conversation in here where I'm like, hang on now. People think I, you got the YouTube circle. <laughs> <laughs> it's just buffering. <laughs> You're like, really? I'm trying to save me and you. <laughs> Right, right. I'm just, you know, I just know that once I get this out, I can't get it back. So let me, uh, let me hold on to this a little bit longer. Just, uh, let it marinate. <laughs> just. <laughs> hey, if you liked any of this content and you found some value in it, make sure that you like, subscribe, and of course, share it. Also, if you're interested in some more, go ahead and check out these videos. Till next time, grace and peace. Adios. Adios.